Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. All right, so turbo on mullet, leaking a little bit of oil, huh? Yeah, I thought we were picking up a, another crown. I thought we were too, but... <laughs> so these guys, I posted on Instagram that we needed a turbo picked up, what, three hours from here? That's right. Yeah, not too far. These guys hit us up, said, we got you. These guys brought a Grand Marquis. You know, the perfect vehicle for transporting a turbo. <laughs> Thank you guys, appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we're gonna swap that out on mullet tomorrow. You gonna do it in the morning? And have a fresh, so bright we, turbo. Do we race tomorrow with the bad turbo? Yeah, probably. Because we got to get after it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Let's race with the bad turbo. Have this if we need it. Run a six first thing. Sit the rest of the day. Well, plenty of time to do this. There you go. All right, first race week hotel. Their elevator operating permit just inspected in March. They're good. 125 feet per minute. That's pretty solid numbers. What do we got here, Otis? Clean. Sam, we better stop and get you a Coke. Get right this now. week started off I'm right, getting, brother. Yeah, I'm feeling a little weak now. I think I can make it to the truck. Get, get the truck. <laughs> to get in the bed of the truck. It feels nice out right now. We got to get this bass done this morning, brother. It's like a Florida winter. So this, guys, sick week starts in about an hour. Driving over there in my motion Duramax. Well, it's first startup, day one. You can do it. Up. There we go. belt squeal right there might tighten up the alternator oh yeah going getting in the uh, staging lanes we're gonna prep the car and uh, try and get out on the track first while it's nice and cool take advantage of this uh, cold air it's gonna make the car make a little more power though so we gotta be ready for that. Then Bullet's like, what is this weather, yeah, brother? Know, 60 degrees. 60 right? degrees. Holy crap. Bullet's well, struggling a little bit this morning. Used to have Florida air. Turbos are barely spinning. But we're here. We're on time. Got <laughs> this trailer. We'll be good. Our trailer is stuck to the hitch. So weird. How's the transition? Alright, we do have a backup turbo. We know it's our turbo is leaking. We got it cleaned up right now. We got a center section for that turbo. It was leaking really bad and then we made a run and now it's not leaking. Yeah, it doesn't leak too bad but, when you're going down the track. Yeah, we don't know. On the street it was leaking. So we can have a center section if we need it. We'll probably install it anyway if we get our pass done today. But car feels good so we're gonna leave it how it is and hopefully make a clean good lick right here that would be killer if we could get a good run right off the pit today we're feeling good so we're raiding steve's trailer for spare parts for the week what do you got there we got some bolts for the uh, rocker arm there you go some studs all right so we got some push rods we got some lifters a couple rockers you want to just get in our trailer just come with can we bring you too Maybe. <laughs> there we go. All right. It's freaking 9 a.m., you guys. What are you doing here? How'd you guys all get off work 9 a.m. on a Monday? Just, did you call in sick to work, brother? He said, hell yeah, I did. Thank you guys for coming. We're going for about 680, first rip. So everyone cross their fingers. We get down through there. And then uh, if that works, we're going to swap out our bad turbo. And yeah. then, you on know, on to the next track. On to the next, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> I don't like that talk. We, yeah. have, we have to. We have to. We have no choice but to make a good run this morning. Let's go. First pass, baby. We really want this to be good. Mullet sick summer day one. This will be the first pass. Got a 680 tune up in it. Got Steve here. Hey. <laughs> we gotta make sure this thing goes down. The track is a little marginal. I don't it, it's greasy. It's there. Yeah. Hopefully she sticks. If it sticks, maybe we'll try and go a little faster.
two at 217. That's all right. That's a, that's a good start. Trashing control through the mid range. Oh, the laptop is gone. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. Man, the profiler was kicking on, but it wasn't slowing me down much. So that was nice. A little traction control assist there. Woo! Really soft through the 60 foot, but hey, didn't spin. That's perfect. Question is, do, do we, we go up? back? We can pull up and try and swing I at think it. we do. I'll bring the fuel up there, pack your chutes, you load up a badass tuna. just up. try and swing at it real quick. Yep. All right, I'll go out there. Heck yeah, I'll meet you out there. <laughs> this one doesn't go down though, we're hitting the road. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Solid rip, brother. Solid. Now we gotta swing for it. You know, I really want that six second average. I've never turned in a six full seconds. six second week. Let's do it. Woo! Man, I'm gonna be honest, I think it can take more 60 foot. I think that slow 60 foot is what killed our time a little bit. I think we can go 118 or 119. Woo! Solid rip for mullet looking at the tune. You can see where it starts chopping the RPM here. That's where it was getting into the profiler, but the profiler did its job and kept us hauling down track, so I'm pretty happy about that. Once I felt the car settle, I did grab the scramble button, got us up to about 40 pounds of boost. See right here? Other than that, the tune looks pretty solid. 106 pounds of oil pressure, that'll work. It's been about eight minutes since our last run. But we're back up here because they closed the lanes in like five minutes. Otherwise, we gotta wait another four hours and it'll just be too hot then. We're gonna swing at it. We think the car's got a little more in it with the track that we've got, so uh, we threw a little more at it. Gotta see if it'll take it. Let's go. we tried you know yeah you know considering the fact that it was in the traction control on the 690 probably trying any more was just not even worse so, <laughs> but we were fired up you know so we were like we're gonna go faster at least you made it about you know 20 feet yeah <laughs> hey i'm just glad we got a 692 i feel like we left a little bit on the table out the back mm -hmm. because you know we only ran 40 pounds of boost so if the thing's hooked up I think we should just run more boost. 55, 60 pounds where it's hooked. We have so much power, we can just put it in as we go. But as we know now, it's only gonna get hotter. So the track conditions can only get worse from where they were when we went our 692. So we're gonna take that and run 692 at 217 for day one. Hey, yeah, the sun's that, out bro. now, so the track's just gonna keep heating yeah, up. Yeah, the sun just came out, it's heating up fast, it's just gonna get greasy. So. 
we're gonna get on the road. We got some street tuning to do because we've never driven the SMX on pump gas, so we'll get it. But dude, we got our six. Dude, that's a good start. I mean, that's, first that's pass of the start. day. All right, so we do in fact have more oil coming out of our turbo. So it's getting pretty smoky. We're gonna go ahead and change out that center section before we start driving today. Might as well just handle that in case, you know, the turbo fails and I don't know. We've never had a precision turbo fail, but when they start leaking, we get them fixed and then it's never an issue. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with the same strategy there. It's only day one of a five day journey. So time to do the old swap -aroo. Yep. We got some pump plugged in and over. Yeah, and then we just got to, uh, yeah, our O-ring on that, that is gone. <laughs> we got to pull off the methanol fuel pump belt. Oh, actually, we got to, oh, Zach, this will be the first time with this fuel pump. So since we have this big old cam-driven fuel pump, we got to slide that back, pull that little connector piece out in there so that yeah, that fuel pump's not that. spinning the whole drive at 130 PSI of methanol pressure. We don't need that. Nope. So we probably have some boiling hmm. methanol at that point. Yeah. <laughs> you know, guys, our plan was to be first in the radial class to try and really get that good prep. When the first radial car went down today, it was probably 10 degrees cooler Absolutely. than when we went down because we were talking to fans and just hanging out, taking pictures and whatever. And we look up and all the radial cars are up there. So we probably went after 60 cars went down, which was not advantageous to us. Tomorrow, we got to be on it. Then I think we can go 670, 680. But for today, we got what we got. I'm really happy we got that 690. I feel like we could do that anywhere. But we'll, uh, we'll take it and go. What do you guys think of that 690? Pretty solid, huh? Pretty solid. All right. What you got there, bud? Uh, this is the uh, Magic Maker right here. That's a Spicy Boy 9000. It makes fast possible. Yeah, so the turbo is good. It's just... Uh, Leaking a little bit of oil, all that oil pressure. Yeah, it feels fine. Huh. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. The other turbo is good. Seals. Yeah, it might just need some seals. Yeah. She's had some hard miles on her. So if you've been wondering why the car has been smoking a little bit, it's because it's just breathing a little bit of oil. <laughs> Inside of our engine is lubricated, brother. Taking the old 315s off. Look how small these wheels look. Tiny boys. That's a 275, looking tiny. All right, well, we're on to the old valve lash, so I figured I'd show you guys under the valve cover because it is beautiful. You got your big old rockers. Look at the mount just for the rockers. I mean, everything in this SMX is beefed up. So we're lashing the valves to zero lash, so there's no play in the valve train while we cruise down the road. All right, All right. woo! What time it is. Day one's done. Well, the drive's not done. About to get Woo. some cold drink. Steve with a 666, brother. 663. 663. Sorry, I didn't I mean to jip you of that 300. Yeah, yeah, I know. You worked hard for that. Somebody jipped me out of it already. Yeah. <laughs> they announced it up front, too. Well, congrats, dude. You're leading the event. Yes. I'm sitting, I think, fifth. Yeah, I only went, I only went 692. Fifth or fourth, yeah. Yeah, I think you're fourth. So. All right. It's all right, though. Five days, day one. Day one. I I'm, mean, I'm happy. It just went straight. Did else? Yeah. Well. I don't think the track is gonna get any better, so we didn't no, feel it wasn't like trying. No, better day for okay. you. Yeah. I need some of them big tires. Did you just finish them? Whole pepper, brother. Golly. Guys out of control. So. <laughs> we're all switched up. We just yeah, lash the valves zero and go. Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll too. So I just waiting for Kyle and came over check on you, see what was going on. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna right. put that fuel additive in. Did we do yeah. that? We did it, so we're good. All right. All right, oh, brother. Yeah, man. Good luck on your drive. Thanks, buddy. See ya. We're right on pump gas, but the tune-up is ugly.
nothing. It was about 228. Now that I shut the car off, it's climbing up even higher. So we do have an oil cooler on this car that has fans on it. It's got really awesome fans, but still it's behind the bumper. So we're gonna try and see now our coolant temp's gonna come down with all this exposure here. And uh, I don't think that's 230. Ah, uh, maybe it is. That's pretty hot. Never mind. <laughs> My fingers. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that should help. Car looks terrible like this, but that should work. Well, this is that small town, Illinois type of place right here, guys. All right, we've been on the road for a little bit now. Our oil temp's 193. We brought our oil pressure up. Our air fuel ratio seemed pretty good. Water temp was nice and cool. It definitely likes having the bumper off, so we're in good shape. Hopefully the rest of the drive goes nice and smooth. Oh, lucky my dead boat's off the way to Idaho. Dude, one of these days I just got towed by a dead boat on one of these. I swear we passed all these great rivers. We could have been all your stuff in the dead boat. the rock river uh started looking at the car this passenger side started smoking pretty heavy got all the river back there looking good time to head out all right well since we made to the checkpoint we can now cut off the route to go to our hotel we've been cruising about 65 67 mile an hour the oil temp was staying at 200 we had great oil pressure trans temp's good everything's dialed all right, well, we made it to the hotel, but we are smelling some hot and melty things. See anything hot and melty, Zach? Not yet. Not yet. I know, I'm glad I put some uh, heat protection on this before we left, because yeah. if you just squeeze that, feel how soft that, <laughs> that plastic line it's is. It's pretty warm. Parked next to Alex Taylor, she went a 680 something today on that big tar. So they did pretty good too. It's very weird that we are this early. Yeah, you know, insane. Soon. We're gonna have to go big tire on this year. I know. We I know. wanna go for All the big five. tire cars just love it. Yeah. We're gonna go These that radials are today. tough, brother. So the lockup is broke. We have a wiring issue. But other than that, we're feeling pretty damn good. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.